because all the vocabulary in here are finished and you just wrote down at the moment. Okay, now uh, just go uh, to the story. <coughs> Unit four, I rain for everybody. Yeah, oh, but now uh, simple, no, uh, don't see simple, only you, yeah, both of you in here. Okay, so uh, I just wait you to read, yeah, all the story in here, everyone. Okay, can I, uh, please start read, reading all uh, the story. Oh, teacher. Yeah, one, I mean one story, you have to read all, not one paragraph. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, sure. It's okay. I am for everybody. Just my heart for only one leg. When he was to 12 years old, Jeff, uh, Jeff had cancer. Doctors had to cut off, cut off the most of his right leg. So, every day, Jeff puts on the article Artificial, artificial leg. The leg is plastic. With the plastic leg, Jeff can ski, run a bicycle, swim, and play snooker. He can also run. In the photo, Jeff is running with some young men. He has two plastic legs too. They are wearing special t-shirts. The t-shirt says, run, Jeff run, Jeff Knight runs across Africa when he was 22 years old. Jeff Knight, Jeff Knight, right? Oh, his name is Jeff K. Kate. Kate, yeah. yeah. Jeff K. Kate ran across the United States. From the east coast to west coast, he started running in the Boston. Boston. Seven months later, he stopped running in Los Angeles. He ran to three thousand and two hundred miles. That's about to sixteen miles each day. Jeff was out to 35 or 36 pairs of the running shoes and the five plastic legs. Jeff stopped in the series on the, on the way to Los Angeles. In the area city, the people gave Jeff money. The money was not for Jeff. It was for the African Cancer Society. The African Cancer Society used the money to learn about the cancer. On the way to Los Angeles, Jeff talked to the people about cancer. He also talks about being disabled. Jeff is the disabled, but he has to do many things. He skis, swims, and plays snooker and uh, plays snookers and runs. He finished college and is studying to be a lawyer. Jeff said, people can do everything they want to do. I want to people to know that I run not only for disabled people, I run for everybody. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so now go ahead, Mr. Kim. Yeah, please start yeah. reading. Yeah. I run for everybody. Jeff Kit has only one leg. When he was 12 years old, Jeff had cancer. Doctors had to cut off most of his right leg. Every day, Jeff put on an artificial leg. The leg is plastic. With the plastic leg, Jeff can ski, ride a bicycle, swim, and play soccer. He can also run. In the photograph, Jeff is running with some young men. They have plastic legs too. They are wearing special t shirt The t shirt say, run, Jeff, run. Jeff get run across America. When he was 12, 22 years old, 
Jacket ran across the United States from the East Coast to the West Coast. He started running in the Boston. Seven months later, he stopped running in Los Angeles. He ran 3,200 miles. That, that's about 16 miles each day. Jeff wore out 36 pair of running shoes and five plastic legs. Jeff stopped in cities on the way to Los Angeles. In every city, people gave Jeff money. The money was not for Jeff. It was for the American Cancer Cancer Society. The, the American Cancer Society used the money to learn about can, cancer. On the way to Los Angeles, just talk to people about cancer. He also talk also talk about being disabled. Jeff is disabled, but he can do many things. He skis, swims, plays soccer, yeah, and runs. He finished college and is studying to be a lawyer. Just say, just say, people can do anything. They want to do. I want people to know that I ran not only for disabled people, I ran for everybody. Finish it. Okay, thank you for your reading. Okay, so now uh, just go ahead. I mean, uh, you just uh, finish uh, for all of you, for Jared and Mr. Kim, for uh, the reading at the moment. Okay. Teacher, it's me. I'm waiting for Zoom app at uh, Messenger. I don't know. You what? Send to Telegram. I don't know. You send to Telegram. I'm waiting you at Messenger chat. Messenger chat. You yes. you cannot join or whatever. Yeah. I don't see the chance send to Messenger. Really. Yes, teacher, don't send to it. <coughs> okay, my, uh, sir, please wait. No, I sent in 230. Yeah, because I have already sent yeah, here. Yeah, 230, but as uh, you cannot see properly. Yeah, the time. Yeah, already. <coughs> okay, I sent both, you know, both. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, after you finish your yeah, post of you, so simple, please read the whole story. Um, I ran for everybody. Jeff Cat, Jeff Cat has only one leg when he was 12 years old. Jeff had cancer. Doctors had to cut up much of his right leg. Every day, Jeff puts on an artificial leg. The leg is plastic. With the plastic leg, Jeff can ski, ride a bicycle, swim, and play soccer. He can also run. In the photograph, Jeff is running with some young men. They have plastic legs, too. They are wearing special t-shirts. The t-shirts say, run, Jeff, run. Jeff has run across America. When he was 22 years old, Jeff had ran across the United States from the East Coast to the West Coast. He started running in Boston. Seven, seven months later, he stopped running in Los Angeles. He ran 3,200 3, miles. That's about 16 miles each day. Jeff wore out 66 pairs of running shoes and five plastic legs. Jeff stopped in series on the way to Los Angeles. 
In every silly people gave Jeff money. The money was not for Jeff. It was for the American Cancer Society. The American Cancer Society used the money to learn about cancer. On the way to Los Angeles, Jeff talked to people about cancer. He also talked about being disabled. Jeff is disabled, but he can do many things. He skis, swims, plays soccer, he and runs. He finished collecting and is starting to be a liar. Just says, people can do anything that, that they want to do. I want people to know that I run not only for disabled people, I run for everybody. It's okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, for your reading. Okay, so after all your reading, yeah, so you cannot uh, doing the presentation or summarize uh, the story immediately because you uh, cannot remember because it recently you just finished uh, your reading uh, for the in each uh, story i also spend time uh, for you uh, to summarize the story at least one day I maybe mean, not for the next day or for this week right okay but uh, actually uh, for uh, this i mean uh, june 4 the touch all and rain for everybody uh, so you uh, just know and take note some vocabulary that uh, accepted uh, from the story. After you know well all the vocabulary, you have to know how to pronounce it in the correct way uh, for the vocabulary, especially uh, for uh, the main character in the story, everyone. I mean, <coughs> his name, Jeff Kate. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah, just call him that. Uh, in short, Jeff. But his uh, full name, Jeff Kate. Jeff Kate. Okay. So uh, the other uh, verb, so you have to pronounce, yeah, uh, as I say again, I mean, you have to pronounce it in the correct way, like artificial, yeah, artificial leg, yeah, or oh, running shoes, a plastic leg, yeah, or oh, American Cancer Society, yeah, here. Yeah. American Cancer Society, yeah, it's the name of the organization that I share screen to you. Okay, uh, thank you for uh, your reading. Um, you, uh, after you read all, I mean, I mean that uh, you uh, reading and you wait for uh, your friends also read too. So there are three times. Yeah, so you can listen and you can know some meaning or the action in the story. So now please go ahead, everyone. <coughs> so uh, let's go to uh, the vocabulary in here, everyone. Okay. So uh, uh, you have to correct everyone uh, from uh, number two. Yeah, number two vocabulary with sentence or uh, picture has the same meaning as the sentence in the story. Yeah. So so call the letter of your answer. Yeah. Here, I mean, we can say the multiple choice. Yeah. So you have to choose whether. A or B are for the first, yeah, or for the correct, uh, we can say for the best answer. Okay, so the first one has done for you, everyone. Uh, number one, yeah, every day, Jeff put on, yeah, Jeff puts on an artificial leg. The leg is, yeah, plastic. So the, uh, we can, uh, I mean, you can see every sentence, every sentence. Yeah, you can see about the letter, you can say the italic, right? The italic word. So it is the meaning in uh, your choice, whether A O or B. After we solve what does it mean? Mean Jeff left is not real. Yeah. And B, Jeff left is expensive. No. After we solve it mean it's not real. It's fact, right? Everyone. <coughs> so uh, go ahead. Yeah, so by read number two and choose whether A or B. Number two, Jeff Pat ran from the East Coast to the West Coast. It's letter A. Again, uh, I'll, I may choose A, right? Yes, teacher. Uh, number I two, Jeff Pat ran from the East Coast. The east coast to the west coast. Yeah. So, 
the east coast to the west coast? A or B? So, uh, do you know how uh, to read the map, everyone? Hmm? <laughs> do you know how to read the map? So, a bow. A bow, where is the destination of a bow? Yeah? <clears throat> so, normally when uh, you study, uh, oh, sorry, geography. When you study geography, when you were at uh, primary school, everyone, do you remember? Uh, some teacher told you that uh, when you read, yeah, when you read the map, you have to remember, you have to turn your face to the north, turn your face to the north, right? But and then when you grow up, you say, it's no need to turn the face to the north. You can turn the face to any destination is okay. But you have to remember the uh, on your head, I mean a bow uh, is called the north, right? The north, everyone. A bow is the north, and the bottom, yeah, we can say the top is on the north, and the bottom is on the south. Yeah. And how, how about on, on your right? On your right hand, I mean, is the east, and your left hand is on the west. So, yeah. So, which one? It's close to the. B. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so go to B. Yes. Okay, yeah, so uh, number three. Wow, and did it disconnected? Yeah, by network or by herself? Okay, so Mr. Kim, read number three and choose the correct one. Number three, Jeff Kurt has only one leg. Just is this ball, but he can do many things. I choose B, sir. B? Yeah. B just is this uh, depressed. No. Jeff Kate has only one leg. You know, he, he has only one leg. Just is a disabled, you know. Yeah, he disabled and he has only one leg. But he can do many things. It just yeah. be just is depressed. So he feel depressed? <laughs> said, uh, he got depression? No. He is braver. Yeah. And optimistic. Yeah, so go to A. Jeff, Jeff has, has a physical problem. problem. Yeah, just see a screen for you at the moment. Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember? <laughs> what? Right? Okay. <clears throat> so don't forget about here. Uh, yes. I mean, oh, 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 where is the vocab? What's, uh, where, which one at the moment, everyone? Physical problem? Oh, physical, right? Okay, right here, everyone. So, i uh, share for you. So then, uh, can you choose? Yeah, everyone. Okay, here, yeah, physical problem, yeah, physical problem means somebody have lost some part of the body, yeah, only one leg, only one arm, only one eye, all the others refer to the other body or the something out, outside, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. And again, uh, number three mean go uh, with A, just have a, a physical problem. Okay. So, uh, suppose go uh, finish number four. Uh, number four, every week, Jeff bought a new pair of running shoes. He wore out 66 pairs of running shoes. I just let it be. Read it. Jeff wore his shoes outside. Really? I'm sorry. Really? Um, I'm not sure, teacher. Why? Just read the introduction clearly again. Yeah. Every week. Every week, check out a new pair of running shoes. 
and he wore out 66 pairs of running shoes. Which one? Well, he's you know, he wore every day, right? What's the mean? He wore his, his shoe outside. So, do you usually wear your shoe inside? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the correct answer is A. Jeff wore his shoe until they were not good. They are from the new until he go them away. Yeah, so go with A, everyone, number four. Yes, Teacher. The yeah. paragraph but I don't see. <coughs> Why? <laughs> Why you cannot see? You see, therefore, I said to care on the shoe and mm -hmm. something like that. Okay, same. Answers, Kim. Teacher, num number two, number three, number four, I'm incorrect all. Uh -huh. okay, you have to be careful, everyone. It's easy if you uh, remember some uh, from the story. Okay, so now uh, it's almost on time, everyone. So please go ahead. Okay, so number three, comprehension. Yeah, you have to understand or you have to sing. Understanding the main idea, uh, so call the letter of your best answer. Yeah, here again, yeah, uh, we can say the multiple choice, right? Okay, uh, suppose for the first one, yeah, and Mr. Uh, so Kim, the second, yeah, let's start. Number one, the main idea of Iran for everybody is letter B, this about people can do many things. B? Yes. Okay, correct. Thank you. Yeah, so number one, go with, go with B. Okay, so Kim, read and choose. Number two, Joe Cat want us to know that. Yeah, what? Let, let her eat her. Just Kate want to want us to know that people can do anything they want to do. So, okay. yeah, sir. yeah, correct. Go with A number two. Okay, so go to the next. Yeah, it's easy. And now finding information. Okay, so read the question. Find the answer in the story. Write the answers. Yeah. For example, here you uh, can know, I mean, uh, some, uh, the first one has time for you. Yeah, for example, everyone, let's go. Okay, one, uh, did Jeff Kate run across the United States or across the California? So it is uh, for the question, you have to answer in the full, uh, full form. Yeah, not in short, everyone. So you have to answer, Jeff Kate ran across the United States. Yeah, and now, yeah, suppose one, uh, sorry, number two, number three, and so came number four, number five. Yeah, so you have to be ready. Now, start. Yeah, teacher, number two, did he talk to people about cancer or about mm -hmm. running? Mr. Jeff had talked to people about running. And number three, did people give Jeff money or present? Yes, he did. He give, people give Jeff um. Money. Okay, correct. But correct only yes. three. Correct, correct and, uh, only number three. Number four, no. Did he talk to the people about cancer or about running? No running about the cancer. So while he go running, he stopped in some three and then he discussed to the people about the prevention of the cancer. Okay. Yeah, what to the cancer? No for the running. If we talk to the running, how can the people give, give him some money? So what? Okay. He ran and he feel uh, breathless. He feel tired up and then he go, uh, they gave them, uh, they gave him some money. No. Yeah, okay. Because I think immediately about the topic <coughs> 
he talk about running. Yeah, running, yes. bad running for to raise some money for the American Cancer Society. So he have yeah. to discuss about the cancer. Okay, thank you. And number three, did people give just money operation? Uh, the answer, money. Okay, correct. Um, second number five, uh, four and five. Yes, teacher. Number four. What's the money for Jeff or for, or for the American Cancer Society? The money was for the American Cancer Society. And number five. Did Jeff run for everybody or only for disabled people? Uh, Jeff run for everybody. Okay, thank you. So you have to be careful when you answer. Yeah, so all the question in here are in the past tense or in the past simple. So the past simple, you know, how to make the past simple. Yeah, when you make the past simple equation, uh, verb two have to change to uh, the infinitive. Yeah, to uh, verb one. But, but run to run yeah, to. if you uh, answer, you answer no in the question. You answer mean in the positive. So you have to change to verb two. Okay. Yes. For example, number four, what's the money uh, for Jeff or for the American Cancer Society? Yeah, what is not changed, right? Because it's also still the same because it's to be passed. So uh, you can answer the money was for American Cancer Society. And uh, for number five, here, yeah, you have to notice about here, yeah. And did Jeff run for everybody or only for disabled people? So you have to answer run to rain, right? So yes, Jeff rain, yeah, for everybody, okay. yeah, for everybody. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now go ahead to finish this page. Looking for details. Yeah, to get more detail or detail information. And uh, look for the numbers in the story. Match the number with the correct words. Draw a line to your answer. Yeah, so if you have to cross book, you can draw a line. Or if you uh, don't want to be messy in your cross book, everyone, you just put the number is correct, right? It's neat. Yeah, your book is, uh, your book is tidy. It's not messy. Yeah, first of all, number, number one, yeah, and then one, uh, 22. 22 means 22 years old. Yeah, it's just a uh, complete number one in here, right? So number two, the uh, 3,200, so go with. So you just uh, put the number, number two, yeah, it's correct. Okay, so now uh, let's go ahead. Uh, suppose number, sorry, 40 minutes has ended. Okay, so I uh, suppose uh, number two and number three. Let's start. Number two, yes, number two, 3,200 miles, and number three, seven months. Okay, same. Yeah, 3,200 miles, and number three, seven months. Yeah, so, so Kim, only two left. Yes. Number four, 36 pair of running shoes, and number five, five plastic legs. Yes, well done. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so it's easy if you remember everything from the story. Yeah. So now, <coughs> please go ahead for five minutes more, everyone. Okay, so number four for discussion. Yeah, discussion. Jeff Kate can do many things. He say, People can do anything they want to do. What about the people in your class? What can they do? Find out. Yeah. For example, I first count up one, two, three, four, etc. Until everyone in the class has the number, write your number on the piece of paper and tap it to your shirt. Now look for your number in the list below. Look at the question is to your number. What is your question? Yeah, so it is for 
play uh, playing games, everyone, right? Okay, for the activity in your, your class. But uh, if online class is a very difficult or cannot play the game, right? Okay, because uh, we are different from each other. Uh, we are far away. Okay, so everyone, now uh, just read yeah, about this one. So number one, can you dance? Yeah, so you have to use all, um, actually Mina, for this activity, you have to use all the activity to go around the class and to ask, yeah, to ask them. So who can do any activities? For example, if uh, super ask Mr. Kim all the action in uh, this, mean the uh, 24 question. So to make sure that how many abilities or how many action that he can do or he cannot do, right? Yeah, so just go ahead. Number one, can you dance? Number two, can you cook? Number three, can you play soccer? Number four, can you take care of babies? Number five, can you build houses? Number six, can you sew? Yeah, you know, right? So, sewing machine. Yeah, I uh, just wait for you. And number seven, can you draw pictures? Number eight, can you try a car? Number nine, can you grow vegetables in the garden? Number 10, can you sing? Number 11, can you use a computer? Number 12, can you ride a bicycle? 13, can you swim? 14, can you fix cars? 15, can you play golf? Uh, 16, can you play the piano? Right? Can you play the piano? Number 17, uh, can you water ski? Do you know water ski? Yeah, uh, you ski on the water. Okay, we can say go, go surfing. Okay. And 18, can you play the guitar? 19, can you play chess? 20, can you run fast? 21, can you ride a horse? 22, can you drive a truck? 23, can you play tennis? 24, can you make a sweater? Yeah, can you make a sweater, a jumper, everyone? Yeah, it, it's a kind of a shirt. Uh, it's kind of shirt uh, or t-shirt that uh, you can wear in the rainy season. Or in the Western country, we can uh, say, I uh, can wear in winter, right? Okay, so all the activity, uh, you have to uh, pick. You have to take. Uh, I can do. Yeah. I can do add pawn. On. I can do add pawn. Add, add numbers. Eight. Just oh, only eight. eight. Mm -hmm. Only eight. Okay. So you uh, just know eight. about your ability. So suppose I mean, uh, she can dance very well, right? No. <laughs> hmm? Just some. Can dance yes. very well. Uh, uh, she also can sing. Number ten can sing. Yeah, because she the like to be a singer. Okay. <laughs> I like to sing, and no, I don't like singer. Sing. Oh, and uh, you can play the piano beautifully. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, you can ski very well too. Yeah, you go skiing. <laughs> Go skiing on the ice, right? On the snow, yeah, go skiing. And Sipo also can try a, a truck. Yeah, so Sipo can be a it's driver in the future. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> we want to be a truck driver, right? <laughs> okay. Because uh, the eight, but I just mentioned only five at the moment. Right, super. Your activities that you able to do it, or uh, uh, some jobs that you like to do. Yeah, for example, as a truck driver, as a singer, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So everyone, yeah, it's almost finished. But uh, to make a detail about this one, everyone, uh, at least you have to ask to the other student or to your friends to get more information about uh, the question 
and you just want to get the answer, right, everyone? Yes. Mm -hmm. And here, everyone, are the last one. They are the last one for number five, writing. Writing. Okay, so writing, also uh, for introduction of writing, everyone, or uh, for number four in here. Oh, uh, it, it's a phone number four. And here, I mean, uh, for writing, uh, just uh, a little in here, everyone. Writing, what can you do? On your own paper, make a list of things you can do. Yeah, I can. So, everyone, uh, I keep asking the homework, everyone here, for the writing. Writing, okay. I keep asking the homework, so please write on a piece of paper and then send to me. Yeah, so I mean, uh, before you go to writing uh, for number five, you have to make sure about all the activity in here, everyone. From uh, question number one to number 24, and you can add more abilities that you can do, right? So uh, please write, yeah, for, I mean, a paragraph, yeah, can be a short or can be uh, 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 not a short, it's a medium, yeah. So please send to me tonight, everyone. Okay. Okay. And now the time's up, everyone. Yeah, goodbye. See you tomorrow. Okay.